Hello and welcome to Ready Steady Magic with me, Ed. This is your place to explore magic and stories and have fun in the process. I hope that you've got your imagination switched on because today we're going to go on an adventure. But before we do, we'll need to find out what's inside my magic mystery. It's a photograph of an emperor. Hasn't he got some fine clothes on? Maybe this reminds you of a story that you might have heard before. Maybe as a book, or as a play, or even as a cartoon. But I bet you've never heard it as a magic trick before. If you'd like to be part of today's story and today's magic adventure, then raise your finger like this, or use a magic wand if you have one. Wave it in the air as we all say the magic words together. Ready, steady, magic. Many years ago, there was an emperor, just like in the photograph. He was so exceedingly fond of new clothes that he spent all his money on being well-dressed. He didn't enjoy playing games, going to the theatre, or even going for a ride in his carriage, except of course to show off his new clothes. He had a coat for every hour of the day, and every day strangers came to town to admire the emperor. One day, two tricksters came to town. They let it be known that they could weave the most magnificent fabrics available. Not only were their colours and patterns incredibly fine, but clothes made of this cloth had a magical way of becoming invisible to anyone except those that were very clever. Those clothes would be perfect for me, thought the Emperor. If I wore them, I would be able to tell the wise men from the fools. Oh yes, he immediately called the two men to his palace. At the palace, they set up two looms and pretended to weave, though there was nothing on the looms. They burned candles through the night to show just how busy they were working. I'd like to know how those weavers are getting on with the cloth, the emperor thought but he felt slightly uncomfortable when he remembered that only clever people would be able to see the fabric. I'll send my honest old minister, the emperor finally decided. He'll be the best one to tell me how the material looks. So the honest old minister went to the room where the two tricksters sat working away at their empty looms. Heaven help me! He thought as his eyes flew wide open. I can't see anything at all. But he did not say so. Both the tricksters asked him to look a little bit closer. He did, but he still could not see anything. Because there was nothing to see. Can it be that I'm a fool? He thought. Well... What do you think of the clothes? giggled the tricksters. Oh, they're beautiful. It's enchanting. The colours are, um, so... Radiant. I'll be sure to tell the Emperor how delighted I am with it. We're pleased to hear that. The tricksters laughed. All the town was talking of this splendid cloth and the Emperor soon wanted to see it for himself. The weavers began sewing in the air and making imaginary cuts with giant pairs of scissors. Finally, they announced that the clothes were ready and accompanied by the honest minister, they presented them to the Emperor. What's this? thought the Emperor to himself. Hmm, I can't see anything. This is terrible. 
What a thing to happen to me of all people! But out loud, the Emperor said, Oh, it's very pretty. It has my highest approval. And he nodded in appreciation as the minister pretended to dress him. How well your majesty's new clothes look! Aren't they fine? He heard from all sides. And that pattern, so perfect. Those colours suit you well, sir. Then the Minister of Public Processions announced, da, 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 da. Your Majesty's carriage awaits. The Emperor took one last look in the mirror. He felt a little embarrassed, but then he remembered what everyone had said to him. He smiled. It is remarkable, isn't it? So off went the Emperor in his carriage. Everyone in the streets and windows said, Oh, how fine the Emperor's new clothes look! Don't they fit him to perfection? You look wonderful, Your Majesty, someone called out. Nobody would confess that they couldn't see anything, because nobody wanted to appear foolish. No costume the Emperor had ever worn had been such a complete success. But then... A little boy said, The Emperor has a bare bottom. And one person whispered to another, A child says he hasn't got anything on. Did you hear? asked another. The Emperor is naked. Soon the whole town cried out, He's not wearing any clothes. The Emperor shivered with embarrassment. He ordered the driver to take the carriage straight back to the palace. The tricksters who had been waiting back at the palace had not seen what had happened in the town. When the Emperor arrived back, they asked him for their money. The Emperor agreed to give them one silver coin each. But, he told them, these are magic coins. Magic. Disappearing coins. Only very clever people. That was when all the ministers realised that actually the Emperor was very wise indeed, for he had tricked the tricksters. If you were in that story, would you lie so that people thought you were clever? Or would you be brave enough to tell the truth? I'll let you think about that one, and I hope I'll see you on another adventure very soon. If you'd like to find out when I add more magic videos, then click subscribe here. And why not watch just one more by clicking here?